Hey comments, welcome to another video. Um, today we're still working on the packet from week three. That was the one given April 13th. And we are on, oh boy, page five, I think, maybe page six. Uh, again, I lose track of the page numbers because there aren't any page numbers. But this is what the page I'm looking at looks like. Okay, working with percents. Um, Remember to calculate a percent of a number such as 50% of 85 would change the percent into a decimal. So for example, 15% would equal 0.15 and then multiply that 0.15 times 85 to equal 12.75. And notice there's no percent sign on our answer. All right, so basically we're using this equation. Percent times whole equals part. And we're gonna come back to that because that's a really important equation. All right, there's also a proportion you can use um, in a similar way, but we'll come back to that. All right, so calculate each percent. So 12%, 12% of 32. So basically what this whole paragraph up here, this box is talking about is this, All right? I can translate this 12% into a decimal. Okay, by moving the decimal over two places, 12% is the same as 0.12. Also, I can divide 12 by 100 because percent means per 100. And when I do that, I get 0.12. Okay, if you don't believe me, you can try it out. 12 divided by 100 equals, you should get 0.12. Of always means multiply. I have yet to find a time when it did not mean that in math. So we're going to move down that word of into a multiplication sign, and then we're going to leave 32 just like it is. And then we pull up a calculator. Oops. And just to show you what I was talking about, 12 divided by 100 is in fact 0.12. All right, now we're going to take that and we're going to multiply it by 32. So times 32, and there is our answer. All right. The answer to 12% of 32 is 3 and 84 hundredths, or 3.84. Okay. All right, so let's see, next one. Very similar. Okay, you're gonna take this 42%, turn it into a decimal, and then multiply it by 75. So it's basically the same format on all four of these problems. All right, let's go to the next type of problem. Okay, it says, remember, to calculate the whole when given the percent and part, such as six is 25% of what number, start by changing the percent to a decimal. Okay, so same strategy. You're gonna turn that 25% into a decimal, 0.25. Then we can use the same setup as we did previously. So percent times the whole equals the part. But this is where it gets a little bit weird, all right? Instead of finding the part, we know the part. What we're going to be looking for is the, um, the whole. So we are given the percent, 0.25, and the part, 6. So our equation looks like this. 0.25 times the whole, which we don't know, equals 6. So since we want to get the whole by itself, we do the inverse of multiplication, which is division. Okay, So we're going to divide um, 24 by 0.25. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, not 24. We're going to divide 6 by 0.25, and that would give us 24. Okay, so 6 is 25% of 24. Sorry, my brain went. All right, so let's look at this problem right here. 12 is 20% of what number? Okay, so 12 is 20% of what number, abbreviate there, okay? And we know that we have the percent times the whole equals our part. Now in this case, unlike the last time when it was percent times whole, we've got our part right here, and we've got our percent right here, so we're gonna change that to 0.20. And then I'm going to multiply that by my whole, which I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to put a W there for whole. 
So what I need to do is divide both sides by the 0 0.20. Remember we asked the question, what's happening to the variable? Well, it's being multiplied, so we do the inverse of that, which is division. Do that to both sides. We're going to divide both sides by 0.20. 12 divided by 0 0.20 is, wait for it, wait for it. And 12 divided by 0 0.20 is 60. Okay, so my whole is 60. That would be my answer there. All right, same thing on these other problems. Okay, set it up the same way. All right, remember these numbers here are going to be your parts, not your whole. Okay, and again, we're going to come back to how do you know that in just a little bit. Finally, to calculate what percent of a part represents, such as 36 is what percent of 144, we can use the same setup as we did in the previous section, percent times whole equals part. In this case, we're given the whole, 144, and the part, 36, and need to find the percent. Okay, our equation looks like this, percent times 144 equals 36, which we want to get the percent by itself. We do the inverse operation. We divide both sides by 144. This leaves us with percent equals 0.25. But that's not a percent yet. That is a decimal. So we need to change that decimal to a percent by moving the decimal over two places, and we get 25%. So 36 is 25% of 144. Okay, let's talk about that again. All right. We did something a little bit different in class, I believe, but they both work, all right? So, whoops, forgot to write down my problem before I changed to the screen. Okay, 24, nope, 2 is what percent of 42? Okay, so what we know is our part and our whole. What we don't know is our percent. So we're gonna put percent times our whole, which is 42, equals our part, which is two, okay? And what I could do here is I could put a P, which is a variable representing part, or sorry, percent, and percent times 42 equals two. So inverse operation of multiplication, because the P is being multiplied, by 42, we need to do the inverse of that, the opposite, which is divide by 42. And I get P, or my percent, equals, and then we'll go to our calculator, 2 divided by 42. And I get this crazy looking thing. Wowzers. All right, well, what do we do with that? Well, we're not going to round it very far. Okay, maybe that far. And then I'm going to ask myself, okay, if this is the decimal, I want to change this to a percent. So I'm going to move my decimal over two places, and I would get 4.76%. Okay, and that would be my answer. All right, and then the trick we could do is we multiply this decimal by 100 and get our percent. Okay, now, what if we don't know whether we're finding the part, the percent, or the whole? Okay. I've got a crazy way to remember that, okay? The equation works, percent times whole equals part, but there's also another way to look at this, all right? We could look at our something over 100, which is our percent, and that is our part over a whole. Think about that last problem we did. We could have just put our part over a whole, right, which is a fraction, and found the decimal and then changed that into a percent. Okay, that would have also worked because the whole point of percents is your part to whole ratio. Okay, it's like we looked at yesterday in the video. Part to whole ratio, which turns into out of 100. Okay, now, why does this help? Well, okay, let me tell you a quick story. All right, been out on roads, okay, when we could go out freely and, you know, and have to stay at home. Um, you, you come across the dip, okay? If there's a pothole or a dip, a long enough time, people are going to start complaining. Now, what does the city do? Well, they could fill it in, but a lot of times they put a warning sign. Okay? It says, hey, there's a hole coming. 
all right? So think about it that way. You're driving down the road, and then there's this hole coming, but not H-O-L-E, W-H-O-L-E, okay? Get it? Play on words there. The hole is coming. Now, there's a warning sign right in front of it that always tells you the hole is coming, and that is the phrase percent of. When you see the word percent of, I want you to think of this fancy warning sign that says the hole is coming, okay? Check me on this. It almost always works. I've yet to find a time when it doesn't. Okay, I always say almost always just in case there is a time out there that I haven't seen yet, but every time um, that I've been working on these problems, this works. Okay, go back to our examples previously. How did we know we were looking for the part, the percent, or the whole? Well, look at this. Percent of is my phrase I'm looking for. What comes right after the percent of? 32. What was 32? It was my whole. Okay? We put that in the position for the whole. Down here. Okay? 12 is 20% of what number? What comes right after the phrase percent of? What number? We don't know what it is. So what we were looking for there was the whole. And then finally, 2 is what percent of 42? Well, one indication is I don't see any number with a percent sign. So that tells me I'm looking for the percent. Now, how do I know which one is the whole and which one's the percent or part? Look for the phrase percent of. The word, the number that comes right after percent of is our whole. That means this is our part. Okay, because you can't always assume the bigger number is the whole. Okay, that's not always the case. It's the word or the number that comes after the phrase percent of. That's your whole. The other number, that's your part. All right? So let's apply that to this situation. A basket contains 14 red apples. The rest of the apples are green. The number of red apples is 70% of the total number of apples. How many apples are in the basket? Ooh. All right. Well, let's, let's look at our, our uh, phrases here, okay? I'm going to go about this in the way of uh, a ratio. Now, you know what? Just to be consistent with our equation, I'm going to do that. All right, so a basket contains 14 red apples. Okay, red apples there. Is that our total number of apples? Okay, I don't think it is. Okay, because there are red and there are green. So that's going to be our part. So I'm just going to list out. I know my part is 14 red. Okay? The rest of the apples are green. The number of red apples is 70%. So the percent of red apples is 70%. So what is left over? Okay? It's our whole. Okay? Which makes sense because we don't know how many total apples there are. That word total almost always means the whole. Okay? So that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to put an X there. All right? Now I'm going to use this equation. I'm going to use this equation, percent times whole equals part, to figure out what the whole is. Okay, so I know my percent. I'm going to write that here, but I'm going to write it as a decimal. So 0 0.70 times the whole, which I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to use that fancy sign for multiplication, since I'm using x for the variable. And then part is 14. Okay? So I put my percent here, I put my whole here, which I don't know, so I put a variable, and then I put the part right here, okay? To find out the whole, I need to divide both sides by 0 0.07, because x is being multiplied by 0 0.70, I need to divide both sides by 0 0.70, and x will equal, calculator time, see here, 14 divided by 0 0.70 is 20. Now think about that. Is that reasonable? If I have 14 red apples, and that is 70% of the total, is that a reasonable number? Okay? I think so. All right? So my answer will be 20 total apples. All right? And just like Zoom has a time limit, so does this screen capture. So I've got to quickly explain this. In this problem, I recommend you add up the total number of students and then figure out the part or the whole to figure out the percents here. All right, thanks for watching, guys.